Hi guys, my up here, how you doing? Today I'm going to be telling you what really boils my piss. <laughs> you know what kind of things just really grind my fucking gears? Uh, before I get into that though, just a little bit of chat about the game and the build. Most of you will know this is Gotham City Impostors. Uh, some of you might know that I rated it as my game of the year because it's had so many problems, but it is still fucking awesome fun. And this particular build is probably the most enjoyable fun to play. It's the Speedy with the Falcon Blade and the Borden Party. And as you can see, the Borden Party lets you throw a parrot in the gun and then get it into people's faces and then run up to them and, well, lose them maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, it's a really fun build to play. I've actually had people say to me that it's kind of like a trolling build or a bullying build. You know, that it's, um, like it's kind of overpowered in some way. Uh, I'll tell you guys, it, you know, it is not overpowered. It's it's so much fun to play, but it's so easy to die as a speedy, no matter what you're using, that I don't think there's any speedy builds that I could actually be called overpowered. Just my opinion, of course, but we all know that I'm always right. <laughs> anyway, um, before I get on to what boils my piss and why, I need to talk a little bit about communication and the way that we communicate. Because it's all to do with communication and a certain way of communicating. Now, whenever we communicate, a lot of the time we're communicating two different things at the same time. You have what we can term the spoken message. And then we can have what we can term the underlying message. So you get a situation of what was said can be very different to actually what was meant. Right? So, I want you to imagine for a minute, you, you, you've gone and got yourself a haircut, for argument's sake. And you're going to the pub, or you're, you're going to meet your mates. And the haircut isn't the greatest in the world, you know. <laughs> and one of them says, <laughs> nice haircut, man. Right, well, they don't actually mean that is a nice haircut, do they? They're actually kind of taking the piss out of you. But because they're friends, that's fine. You know, somebody could say, you know, feel sorry for you and say, oh, you know, it's a nice haircut. They don't actually mean it's a nice haircut. What they're kind of actually saying is, look, it's not the end of the world, man. Don't worry about it. It'll grow back in. You know what I mean? There's always a kind of a, <coughs> excuse me. There's always like a, a subtext to what is being said. Uh, I, I can remember a relative of my, well, a relative of my kids to be more precise who met me in the street one day and it was when times were better for me and I just splashed out and bought myself a yacht. <laughs> I don't worry, I've never been a millionaire. I don't mean kind of, you know, the Yacht Britannia or something. It was just like a little kind of floating caravan on, <laughs> on the local sea kind of thing. But anyway, and, you know, she'd said, oh, you know, what, what's new? And I said, oh, I, I just bought myself this yacht, you know? And she went, <laughs> I'm saying nothing. And I thought, fuck you. What do you mean you're saying nothing? You are saying something. It's just you're not actually wanting to have a full-on conversation about it. You just want to voice your displeasure or your disapproval and not actually say it in such a way that allows the other person to respond back. And this is what really boils my piss is when people do that. Is they say something in a disparaging way that makes it be known that they don't like what you've done or said or you disagree with it or whatever. But they kind of phrase it in such a way that they don't actually say that. Does, it, does that kind of make sense? It, you know, like somebody, for example, can say, oh, thanks very much, when they actually mean the complete opposite. They don't mean thanks very much. You know, they're talking about the complete opposite to what their actual words are. And, you know, we do this all the time. And sometimes it is done deliberately to annoy. Uh, a common one on the internet, for example, is the TLDR, uh, which stands for too long, didn't read. That, that 
gets used when somebody makes a forum post and okay, it might be a bit long-winded or you know, it's more than a couple of paragraphs. And somebody after it will post, too long, didn't read. And you think, well, what the fuck are you replying for then? If you didn't even read it, why the fuck are you replying it? And it's usually done to kind of promote, provoke that type of reaction. Uh, it's usually something really small. And this is kind of on a subconscious level done. Because it makes the person that retaliates seem as if they're overreacting. You know, it's like dropping in a little insult. But because it's so little, it kind of seems as if, if the person reacts to it, they're the ones who are making a deal about it. It's the ultimate troll. <laughs> it is. And then the usual classic thing that comes up on top of this. <coughs> Sorry. The usual classic thing that comes on after it is, oh, what's the matter? Can't you take a joke? And it was never a fucking joke in the first place. It was disguised as a joke. It's a snide, sneaky little way of getting your disparaging remarks in. Disguised as a joke. Not a true joke that was meant to make somebody laugh, but then it's like, let's add some further insult to it and say, oh, well, you obviously don't have a sense of humor because anyone with a sense of humor would have realized it is a joke. So, you know what? I'm going to insult you another time. Well, fuck off. That's my attitude to that. <laughs> so, what grinds your gears? What boils your piss? Is it somebody coming up against you in a game like this with this kind of loadout? <laughs> or is it somebody who overanalyzes what is being said to them and doesn't take everything at face value? Everyone's got something that boils their piss. Everyone's got something that is the ultimate troll against them. So, what is it for you? Is it the too long didn't read thing? Which basically says, Fuck you, because you're not important enough for me to waste my time reading your shit. Oh, look at this gameplay, though, isn't it? It's fucking beautiful. Come on, it is, isn't it? It is. <laughs> la, 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 la. I think this is the ultimate troll class in Gotham City and Poppies as well. Actually, you know, making this video, you know what I'm going to be doing? As soon as I finish this and put it up, I'm going to be going back on Gotham City and Pastors. And I keep saying this, but I've got all these great games, you know, that oh, haven't really seen the inside of my PlayStation that much at all. Oh, by the way, I've got Dishonored to have a look at. I haven't even looked at it yet. Well, I say I've got my son downloaded it at PSN store and we share account, so I'm going to have a, have a go at that been hearing great things about it and I've never even given it a go. But yeah, I just keep coming back to Gotham, man. Wonder if there'll ever be a Gotham City Impostors 2 and I wonder if it becomes a success this time. Game really deserves it, you know. Just my humble opinion. Anyway, there we go. It is your man Muppet at the lead. Alright guys, that's me out of here. Let me know what you think. As always, love to hear what you've got to say. Take it easy. Bye.